I think for the last how many, however many games was it four games that you had there I thought actually there were signs of life with Leeds I thought he did get a tune out of them the last day of the season obviously complete capitulation against Spurs and, and he said himself it was a professional suicide he was really disappointed but I didn't think he did a bad job Dino what do you think? Um, well I don't agree with what Simon said I think Sam Allardyce uh, and it's, hard, it's I mean I'm going to say this just after his team's got relegated but Sam Allardyce is a as talking from a manager to a, about another manager, I think he's, a, he's he's near on a genius in what he does. Uh, I've seen how he works, and if you give him a bad set of tools, he can make something out of it mm. normally. And he's done it all his career. So I'm not talking about when you're um, tactical genius like Pep. I think for people like Roy Hodgson and Sam Allardyce, who've had over a thousand games of football as manager, if you survive. If you survive more than six months, you're doing something right. So I think he's he's a, he's a really good manager. Can I make a suggestion as well? If it was Mourinho that came into Leeds for the last four games this season and went into the press conference and said what he did, what Sam said about being a certain kind of manager and things like that, I think we'd laud Jose and say, isn't he funny and isn't he charismatic and always clever because he's taking the attention off the team and putting it on himself. But when Big Sam does it, it's it's the opposite because I, I don't know. We just we're so quick, aren't we, with English managers to sort of pie them off or tear them down, and they're not as sexy as international managers, all that sort of stuff. Um, so you yeah, look, it's a personal opinion, isn't it? But those games, he took that job with Man City, Newcastle, West Ham, and Tottenham as the final mm. four games of the season. I know he's not doing it for free, but still, like you, you go in there and your reputation's at risk, isn't it? Yeah, well, in 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 the real world, it takes you two years to turn a football club round. Not That's four in games. a mess. Not four games. In in the real world, getting rid of people, getting the right staff in, and you can't judge him on four games. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods, Monday to Wednesday morning, six till ten, on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.